Okay, here's part two of the tutorial I just did. I didn't want to make the video like an hour and a half long. So our captain was just killed. We just got another bridge officer. So we got this guy, a science officer who has a tachyon beam, which basically drains your target shields. Which is very useful. And his ability is right here. But before I do that, we did pick up our rewards from the last mission, so this will upgrade my front weapon. Save that. This will upgrade my engines. You could also compare the stats to see if it's something you actually want to do. So this engine will make you turn a little bit better and full impulse a little bit faster. Throw that on there. Upgrade my weapon. Give myself a better hypo. Because that's a medium, that's a small. Now I will give her my old gun, because that's a little bit more powerful than what she's got. And you can just discard that. And I will discard those. So over in your assets, you have your energy credits, that's your in-game money, you have your reputation marks, which will get your reputation projects once you get that unlocked. You have your fleet credits and fleet marks. Fleet marks you get the same way, you know, finish a mission, you get fleet marks or reputation marks, whatever you choose to get, depending on the mission. And then your fleet credits you get by donating the fleet marks or other items to specific fleet projects if you choose to join a fleet. Join a fleet is always very advantageous because you get a whole bunch of fleet equipment and consoles and weapons and shields and RV. You get basically everything through there that's also fleet um, fleet grade so it's going to be a little bit better than a lot of the stuff you're going to pick up and a little bit better than a lot of the stuff you can craft or buy off the exchange but some people choose not to use fleet because there are different type of sets that you can use and boosts you get for using the same type of engines and deflectors or of course like things they'll set up and get matches and you get extra bonus I guess side effects I guess good side effects but that's way off in the future. We're nowhere near that yet. Oh, static. I love getting static. On it. Compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? Hmm. That's the start of an answer. Captain Schron, perhaps you'd care to fill in the details? The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Sobrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Perez? Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, silly? Picking up large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Durant here. 
Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. So if I were a science officer, I'd be able to click this one, but I'm an engineering officer, so I have to do My things the long way. My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans, and then report back. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Also, you don't want to get too close to explosions like that because they hey, will did, cause damage to you. Did we just fight the Klingons again? Ooh, that was lucky. Half the systems down here are bypassed like a Christmas tree, Captain. We can't take much more combat. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not a miracle worker. Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. off on my torpedoes in the next turn. number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. I want you to go to the Corvan system and warn them about the Klingons. The Sabroba is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. Do what we can to delay them, and it'll be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you ready to go? Okay. Red alert! All hands, battle 
What a bunch of a-holes. Alright, you so need to warn the one. Corvan colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. Alright, so now we get some more stuff. Congratulations, Not Another officer we want to put into our station. So that's emergency power to shields, which is useful. Use M to open up the map for sector space. Eh, shut up. You can click on a system to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. There we go. Now we got three people for our away team. Now we're giving her all she's got, Captain. I hope we get there in time. We will start flying there first. Upgrade our deflector. Upgrade our torpedo. You could put two torpedoes up front, or one in the back, one on the front. Shield emitters. So that'll make our shields regenerate a little bit faster. And we don't need these anymore. And since they were free items, basically, uh, we're not getting any money off of that yet. Then, depending on which space station you go to, you can get a little bit extra money for what you're selling. Then just, you know, right-click delete, basically. Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What are your orders? I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting him through now. Hello, Captain. Uh, what can I do for you? Run that by me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about them? Oh, more static. Awesome. We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. There's a comm satellite nearby. It should boost our signal so we can warn the ships and the colony. The SAT uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders, Captain? Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Colonial evacuations on a mass scale could be... problematic. We may... Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them. That's odd. There we go. Target shields have failed.
Captain, I have short range comms again. Long range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to stand down attack squads. What are your orders? Do your job. Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Civilian vessels, disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Lay the gate closed! We have to get out of here! And leave- Starfleet's here! Oh, thank goodness. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. Cool. This coat will open the gate. Chief Smythe and some of the others are still in there. I know it's asking a lot, but if you can, please, save them. I uh, will see. To the gate. You have to save the chief and the others. Get some armor. Press the U key to view your status or the status of your ship and bridge officers. Kidoki. Guys, how's it going? Your Starfleet, they come to now! Please, stop! Help! Nice. 
Ow. Kinetic beeping. Hang on. No friendly fire in this. Excellent. You were the one who contacted us, yeah? I'm glad you're here. And so I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, I'd have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine. Probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. Wait a hearing. We're definitely gonna need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Right. Mine barrier. So this is part of your kit abilities. Now for some reason, even though you don't have a kit, you can still use the modules. So now, I know you want to shut down that security I'm going to move mind, this over to my idea. punch button. Hear me out, okay? Okay. I think we can hook up the field emitter to the power core and modify it to broadcast a field over the entire facility. It's a short-term solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. That's what you I think. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. Nice work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really unpleasant company. Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? Okay. Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Minefield. And those will stay there until somebody steps on them. Invert it and jam it back in. I think I got it. Now manually cycle the power of our force in the short of the jumper. Then you can get different traits and abilities to make your mines drop down faster. Oh, we don't more mines, different types of mines, all sorts of goodies. Okay, got it. 
Yep, that works. Mechanic approved. If it doesn't work, hit it harder. The system is still clear, Captain, but those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. Least I could do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, least of all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. We didn't have to help you. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and uh, sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go! Bombing resumed. We're fine. Fine. We're all fine here now. It's an How are you? Model, but it gets the job done. It uses two oscillating beams instead of a fixed pulse. Uh oh. Well, I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig over Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but still bad, so we should definitely try to avoid that. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism. It's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches. Two separate consoles. That have to be activated at the same time. That's fine. I don't know. I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know? You can do this. Ask around. See if there are any locals. They might be able to assist. security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But there's a problem. 
Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. That'd be cool. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Cool. I'm sure everything will go just as planned and nothing bad will happen. Damn it, something bad happened. became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. Anton's ship is in good hands. Keep up the good work. Shran out. We've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can.
After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, I think Admiral Kensington put it easy on you. The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. The Admiral's office is this way. Sup, Admiral? Thanks for coming. You've been through a lot. Starfleet Command appreciates your efforts, especially at the Corvin system. I do as well. I've read the official reports, but I'd like to hear your take on it all, in your own words. Bad shit happen. We killed the bad people who caused the bad shit. Hmm. This Jaula has become quite a thorn in our side. You're fortunate. Very few have survived combat with her. Our agents are on the hunt for Jaula as we speak. Bringing in the sister of Takuthma will be quite a blow to Klingon morale. Rest assured, you're not the only one who wants her to pay for her crimes. Pay, die, whichever. Neither do I, unfortunately. Well then, based on what I'm seeing here, you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs now. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her center chair. The job's yours if you want it. Sure, I'll take it. I mean, the Enterprise does blow up, like, a lot. Yes, under normal circumstances, it would take years of work to get your own command. But these aren't normal circumstances. The war isn't going well for us. We don't have the luxury of waiting years before putting good officers on the line. We need them out there right now. We need you. Yes, Corvin would have been a disaster if it weren't for you and your crew. Starfleet wants to recognize that. Therefore, as of now, I'm making your promotion and command official. I see the same things in you that Schaefer did. Honor his name and make us all proud. Well, in the five minutes I worked for the guy, he sure taught me a lot. I wouldn't recommend it. I have it on good authority. I'm quite a terror when crossed. On to more mundane duties, hmm? You'll need to check in with the tailor and update your uniform in a manner appropriate to your new rank. After that, acquire a shuttle for your ship. When you're finished, return to me for new orders. Okie dokie. You don't look unhappy. And that's good, right? All the way to the Admiral. Now, another cool thing about having a fleet that you join is depending on the fleet and their level, um, you'll have a star base, you can have consoles for your tailor. Um, your bank, the exchange, everything. Everything you'll have will be on a fleet-owned map, and you won't have to actually go to public open maps. Which, there's nothing wrong with public open maps. This way. Except this for way. those, um, dance party things that people shoot off. Those are kind of annoying. Yeah. I need new clothes. Join a fleet to unlock this outfit. That would be your fleet uniform. Some fleets have uniforms, some don't. I would imagine most do. Um, the fleet I've been in since we pretty much went free to play has been everybody gets their proper uniform. But I'm sure other fleets don't even care what you're wearing. So we'll modify what I'm currently wearing. Uniform. 
and I'll just change got a lot of badges. A lot of discovery badges, huh? Interesting. I'll go with that one. Why not? Do we want a belt? Yes, that'll work. Uh, since we're in here, I guess I'll show you the other things that I didn't really go through during the character creator. But, I mean, you could change lots. Lots and lots of stuff. I mean, just eyes, you got Eyes. Cheek size. So yeah, you could go through and completely make your character totally customizable that nobody else will have something that looks like you. But you do have to be careful. In the uniform stuff you could accidentally equip something that's going to cost money not money but you know zen if you don't have zen you can't buy it but you could accidentally spend zen that you are trying to save nice it really suits you ship vendor Looks like you're all set. Hey, don't keep the Admiral waiting. Why not? Are you running in circles? Interesting. We used to be able to go into these bush ah there we go. Hmm. I haven't really been to uh, Earth in quite a while. I'm not ringing the bell, I'm just walking in. Congratulations on your promotion. I will let you know when I have a new task for you. Sweet. You survived! Then again, you survived fighting House Mokai. Admiral Kensington must have been a walk in the park for you. I guess this is goodbye. At least for now. You've got a ship and a crew to take care of, and I, well, I still have to graduate. Hey, do you think they'll use your ship for the cadet cruise next year? If they do, put in a good word for me. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> hey, I liked being your chief engineer out there. It, uh, it would be an honor to do that again, Captain. Oh man, this is hard. Uh, stay safe, okay? This war won't last forever. And I hope we're both doing what Starfleet does best soon. Exploring the galaxy, strange new worlds, all that. All right, so that finishes the tutorials. 
So I'll come back, do a couple more missions in the future, see how I like it.